There is evil people in this world, and then there's Chapo Guzman. From his days as a young Border Patrol agent in San Diego, Donovan was making a career out of tracking down drug traffickers and their tons of illegal product. Today, he leads the DEA's New York field office. But in 2012, Donovan set his sights on the biggest target of his career, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, after his first escape from a Mexican prison. In 2015, when Guzman escaped his Mexican prison cell a second time using this sophisticated tunnel, Donovan and his team had what they needed to begin their hunt. When I see Chapo Guzman, I know uh, who the real person is. I know how he thinks. I know that he is uh, an evil manipulator who uh, wanted to rule the Sinaloa cartel with an iron fist. Donovan oversaw Operation Third Strike, the multi-agency effort that ultimately led to Guzman's final recapture in 2016. The trial and all the chilling witness testimonies introduce the world to the real Chapo, a ruthless killer, uh, money launderer, violent drug trafficker, manipulator, liar, adulterer. In newly shared insight with CNN about the operation, Donovan recalled how he and his team studied the cartel boss after his 2014 capture. It provided valuable intel used in the weeks after Guzman tunneled out of his cell. We knew his habits, we knew his associates, his families, the, uh, the people that he liked to surround himself with. Ultimately, Donovan's U.S. teams, along with Mexican Marines, hunted down their man in early 2016 in the seaside city of Los Mochis. In this dramatic raid video, you see Marines clashing with Chapo's man while the drug lord escaped out a trapdoor, only later to be captured nearby. Imagine how it was when he escaped. We were defeated. We were deflated. We felt like we, we lost. Uh, we put so much effort into it. To capture him again was a tremendous feat. Uh, for all of us. And it really was all the different agencies that were involved. There were 22 different U.S. agencies and federal uh, partners that were involved with his capture. A year later, he was extradited to the U.S. A reminder of that day now hangs proudly in Donovan's New York office. His prison number is here. This is the various operations. It features an inmate shirt worn by Guzman when he touched down in the United States. When he arrived here in January 2017, and his face, what he looked like, he was no longer in control. He lost control. He is outside of Mexico. He's on U.S. soil. And to me, um, that feeling of defeat that we felt when he escaped, that's what he felt at that point. Polo Sandoval, CNN, New York.